so um well that's real nice did you did you cause it firstly tesla i mean like i have to ask it's part of the procedure now i mean you, you, you get it and In, inside of here but at that point in time, how long is it going to take for this guy to kiss your ring and get this thing over with? Can we just get this done so we can, I can move on? Really want, you can get it if you're I mean, alright, so you square away the monarchy and all that figures. Stop waiting, figures. start investing, Obviously you Detroit. got everything beat. I mean, Space Marine comes First up First question, the, let's start with Tesla. On the number. And, uh, uh, reading uh, reading so some of the notes you shared with us, I mean, ultimately, it, you do think it's Titans. fair that its go value on, has increased on, significantly over on. the last 18 months. Today, therefore, <laughs> Absolutely. I think uh, if you look back at COVID, COVID was very kind to companies that were young, fast-growing, and, um, and, and were flexible. And scanning. if you were building a, a company had to be a perfect winner from COVID, it would be Tesla. So I think it's not. I think it's quite clear that, uh, that Tesla is one of the winners from if, COVID. If I that have said, Adobe, a trillion dollars have met us in and some incredible success. Yeah, I can yeah. have a cell phone. There's a wire. For, for sure. There's a wire. Um, I, guess we're all I mean, also I tear that thing apart, hook up the wire to a soldering gun, never really and then no physicist ever thinks about the case that as long as the phone the news flow the and the, the headlines coming from the company little, little continue here for the to come out in the right direction, the that, that, that this is more no, of a momentum NASA. stock than a, than a valuation stock. Didn't you develop, bro? Come on. Uh, let me correct you. The pricing metrics have never worked. So you use P-E ratios or EV to sales. Tesla's has always looked expensive. But it's always about valuation. The question is how big you think the story will get. So well, I think the, the reality I mean, is that if you is, believe if that Tesla is fairly valued, you're also well, you believing that Tesla can sell a trillion dollars. Well, I mean, that, you know, that, 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 that revenues would rise to a trillion. Taking notes, and in a decade, the margin is 16%. And the reality is there is a plausible path. Is it's one of those special ones. You have to make Tesla one of the greatest companies in the face of the earth. But there are people who are true believers that it's going to be one of the greatest companies in the face of the earth. But there are people who are true believers that it's going to be one of the greatest companies in the face of the earth. But there are people who are true believers that it's going to be one of the greatest companies in the face of the earth. But there are people who are true believers that it's going to be one of the greatest companies in the face of the earth. Stock. It's driven by near term forces which have nothing to do with that. And right now it's uh, listen, Elon Musk's uh, decision while, to sell stock that might be driving what's happening in a day to day basis. But there is value. Like, the there's some things about money. It's an X, it's a will, it's a, it's a math problem, it's a piece of Rivian, paper. Rivian, which went up another really 15%. Some, you pound a today, today it's, it's been up every day, it's right, gone public. This is now a 130 billion dollar company. You get the combination. Some stock that was trading at 1330 billion I mean, the fact is there. I mean, relative Rivian, every it would, company it would in the be face of the earth is true. I'm trying to get my, my head wrapped around and how to justify this number. number. And there are two things you're I can think of. One is, in addition to being in the electric car business, which right now gives you a lot of options. The amount of what you had laying around new cars and 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 new Rivian seems to be the next train leaving the station. I think it's a mistake to do it that way. But that doesn't stop investors from jumping on what the they think will be the next has everything to do with what's here on Earth, do, and it would matter. You wouldn't be able to get too far off the rock. You wouldn't be able to go to the moon base. You wouldn't be able to do a lot of space marines. I mean, at the end of it, you're wasting so market so much share in the next five or, or ten years. Or, or simply, you, you on uh, the, 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 just any EV maker is going to benefit. And in fact, the traditional names could benefit too. I mean, it's hard to see quite so many of them working and it not hinder any of the rivals at the same time. They quit and they go back. No, my fear is ways. not that they're building in 100%, but 150% of market share. That's my real now. concern. Is not only are they believing that every car sold will be an electric car and that the traditional automakers will disappear, but if you add up the expected revenues you will need from these remaining electric car manufacturers, the question is who's buying all these cars? I mean, in a sense, you're almost the building, the, you're almost the, building the expectation that people will buy twice as many cars 10 years from now as they will do now. If you get the ground and if you bring in automated good, driving yeah. in the other trends, it should be pushing in the other direction. We should need fewer cars, not more cars. So I think there's this big market delusion that's driving all this pricing. And people are not thinking through whether these companies can all coexist, even if the market is as successful as they think it's going to be. I love Marshall. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can get it if you